auto accidents, truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, you know to call the Tiger. Uh, Kaufman and Stigger injury lawyers are back on Wave Listens Live, but we're not focusing as much on the auto accident side. Kara Stigger, Jimmy Kaufman, thank you all for being here. Thank you. We're going to talk about a unique uh, situation that I'm actually learning is not as unique as I might have thought, which is dog bite related injuries and how that could impact your life. So I'm going to start with you, Kara. What are the most common questions? If this is to happen to somebody, what are the most common questions that you're getting when it relates to dog bite injuries? Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. Um, first, I want to say that we are an office of dog lovers. Mm -hmm. We. Um, are all um, we have pet owners and I volunteer for the Animal Care Society which takes wonderful care of animals and makes sure they get in a loving home. Um, so we are dog lovers but there are lots of calls we get every day from people who have um, either been injured themselves or yeah. their children have been injured by a dog or a dog injury, a dog bite, dog um, sometimes they knock them down and cause injuries mm -hmm. and um, when we get the calls to answer your question, yeah. uh, the most common question is, who's going to pay for this? Who's going to pay for my medical bills and my injuries? Yeah, who is going to pay? Yeah, uh, most people don't know this, but uh, typically a dog owner's homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance is who's actually going to pay uh, for those medical expenses, for those injuries. Um, and that homeowner's and renter's insurance will extend beyond that dog owner's home. So if, okay. if that dog is out in public, if that dog uh, was not restrained properly and goes to somebody's house and bites somebody, um, that insurance coverage will st still typically apply. And um, so technically the dog owner is the responsible person, but the insurance company is who's, who pays. Okay. And uh who are the people that really should be tuning in? Of course this can happen to anybody. Who are the people that should be really their ears perking up? Who are the most common people that might be in a situation where this happens maybe a little bit more than people, especially ones that maybe don't even own a dog or things like that? Who are the most people, the people most commonly closest to these kind of situations? Uh, definitely children and uh, delivery drivers. Um, okay. A lot with the Amazon and UPS. Uh, a lot more deliveries it feels like are happening, but we get a lot of calls from delivery drivers and children who are bitten. Yeah, not too dissimilar from the the trauma that could also happen in an auto accident. There is there's a lot of things that happen really fast when it comes to these situations, I'm sure, and it can be kind of hard maybe to think about what are the next steps I need to do right away. So, Kara, I'd love for you to tell us, like, if someone is injured by a dog, what do they need to know to do as soon as possible? Well. Um, the first thing, of course, is medical treatment. They mm -hmm. need to um, make sure that they get their injuries addressed. That's the most important. Also, um, if if this uh, if the circumstances warrant, they should probably call the local authorities, the police, or okay. uh, the animal. Um, uh, care people. I'm, I'm sorry. The yeah. animal control. Animal control. Yeah, animal control. Animal okay. control. And they need to uh, document as much as they can. Yeah. Um, who uh, brought the dog? Who owns the dog? Um, take pictures. And of course, as I said, get uh, their injuries addressed by medical yeah. personnel. And knowing every one of these situations is going to be a little bit different, Jimmy. I guess how. I would love for you to explain a little bit more why documentation is so important in these kind of situations. Yeah, um, it's very important because that's how the insurance company is going to evaluate the claim. Okay. Um, a picture is worth a thousand words. If you show a picture of somebody's open wound um, and their wound after it's been closed, uh, it's a lot more persuasive than just reading a medical record that says um, that there's a laceration on somebody's mm -hmm. arm. Uh, so it is really good uh, to make sure that you take photos of the injury, photos of the dog, um, to report it to animal control because animal control is going to come out, they're going to investigate, they're going to check to see if the dog is up to date on its rabies uh, vaccinations. Um, and they're also going to make uh, animal control report. Yeah, you can, you can tell this is something that Kaufman and Sigurd have specialized in for a long time. So I think it's really important to make sure that you do call as soon as you, you, as it comes to mind, making sure you reach out to Kaufman and Stigger as soon as possible. How do you all guide people through this process once it's happened, Jimmy? Yeah, and it depends how early they contact us. Um, if it's right in the beginning, if it's a really severe bite, they need to call 911. They'll get in touch with animal control. They'll send an ambulance if needed. If it's a less severe bite, um, I would still contact animal control for the mm -hmm. reasons I talked about earlier. Um, they're going to investigate, make a report, 
check for rabies vaccinations, uh, and then also make sure that the person gets the, the medical care that they need because uh, with dog bites, you're at a much higher uh, risk of infection mm -hmm. uh, than just a regular cut. And you guys are going to be able to determine if this person has an actual case in the unfortunate accident that they are bit by a dog. So I guess. That's just one of a couple reasons I'd love for you to keep going on this topic, Kara, is why do people need to call Kaufman and Stigger, especially when they might find themselves in a dog bite injury situation? Uh, we are very experienced in handling dog injury cases and uh, have done so for years. Uh, we even had a, an instance where we had a client who was mauled by some dogs and uh, the case was taken all the way up to the Supreme Court of Kentucky. Wow and uh, some new law was made and clarified the existing laws um, and that was in 2018 that decision mm -hmm. came down in favor of our client um, and it has been helpful in Kentucky um, but you need to uh, make sure that uh, whoever you're dealing with knows the laws in Kentucky mm -hmm. or Indiana whichever the case may be um, we have had plenty of experience in this area and when you call us, of course, it's a free consultation. We will discuss the, the injury and how it happened and we'll investigate. We'll help you through all those steps that we've been talking about, about mm -hmm. getting your medical care, uh, making sure animal control is involved in the case. And, um, and, and when you call in, it's good to, to talk to us about what we'll do for you, but mm -hmm. also ask us about our fees. We've been in business over 20 years. Our fees have not changed since we started. Yeah. Some firms charge substantially more than others, and it's good for people to ask those questions during the initial interview. Yeah, I think that, I'm so glad you brought that up because I think you guys obviously have so much experience under your all's names as a firm, but at the root of the firm, you all are still a local family-based operation helping the people of Kentuckyana. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit more, Jimmy, about how you all are able to bring that approach to your clients when they call you in these situations. What is driving your all's motivation? What is your motivation to help clients as best they need? You know? Yeah. Well, I'm from Louisville. Uh, I was born here, went to college and law school here. Uh, and it's always good to help people in our community, uh, especially when they're in one of the most traumatic uh, experience of their life, whether it be a car wreck, truck wreck, dog bite case. Um, it's, it's all about helping people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you all do a wonderful job. We really appreciate we really appreciate you being here, and you're not going anywhere just yet. Jimmy's going to tag out for Marshall Kaufman. We're going to come back after the break, and they're going to tell you all a little bit more about some scholarship opportunities they are proud to support. In the meantime, if you need help for a dog bite injury or any sort of auto, truck, motorcycle accident, go to getthetiger.com and contact Kaufman and Sticker. We will be right back after a short break here on Wave Listens Live.